What is going on guys? My name is Miniature King. I think you're semi hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. So we are back with another Black Ops 4 video. In this one today, we're going to be covering all of the maps that are going to be included at launch um, and what maps basically we're going to be able to play on when we get our hands on this game this Friday. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and let's go over every single map here. And while I, you know, name off these, I'm going to try and throw up some visuals, some pictures, so you guys can see what map I'm talking about. If they are available, if I cannot find a picture, then you guys are just going to see some gameplay in the background. Um, but either way, I do have descriptions for these, uh, so we can get a, I guess, better sense of what map we're going to be, you know, playing on. So, um, without further ado, let's begin. And just one more thing, some of these maps are maps that we got to play on in the beta, so they might sound familiar uh, when I'm reading off the names but other than that uh, let's start so the first map here on the list is called frequency these were one of the maps that were in the beta so we did get to play on this one uh, so I'm not gonna read the description of it you guys are already aware of what this map is then the second one is contraband this is another one that was in the beta I'll go ahead and read the description of it anyways surveillance of an international arms smuggling operation has uncovered this shipping hub on a remote uncharted island off the coast coast of Colombia. Then this third map is also from the beta. Um, it is called Seaside. The description of it says an anti-government protest in a quant coastal Spanish town grew out of control and forced a military shutdown. So that's an interesting description. Uh, but moving on. Then we got Payload. This was also in the beta. It is a defensive IC uh, BM launch facility deep in an Icelandic mountain range um, has been infiltrated by hostile forces attempting to steal a nuclear warhead then we got hacienda and you guys guessed it it is also in the beta as well uh, the description of it is a lavish vineyard estate situated on a quiet lake in the spanish countryside home to a high-ranking crime syndicate boss. Then the next one is Gridlock. This is the last map um, included on the full list that was in the beta. Uh, the description is a Japanese uh, metropolis whose city center has been jammed up by bank heist gone wrong. So this is um, Gridlock. Moving on to some of the newer maps, we have Arsenal, hostile convert ops on a manufacturing facility of a powerful North American military defense uh, contractor means someone may have stolen the keys to the castle so that is a very interesting description for a map next up this map is called icebreaker a long lost nuclear submarine in the arctic houses a uranium supply which a russian unit has come to salvage then we got morocco the description of it says uh, rebels in a small Moroccan village are using government military supply planes as target practice as they fly over the surrounding Sahara Desert. Then we got Militia. It says anti-government extremists backed covertly by a Russian cell are stockpiling weaponry in a remote region of Alaskan wilderness near the Bering Strait. Then these next four maps are going to be maps that are basically remakes. We played on these maps from other games. They're just being brought back uh, to black ops 4 multiplayer so these maps are all going to be familiar to pretty much everyone who watches this video uh, so i'm not going to read a description but these maps include jungle fire range slums and summit so these are all maps that i'm guessing everyone knows what they are so i'm not going to you know say the description for these maps but anyways these are all the maps that are going to be at launch for black ops 4 and then another map that is confirmed for post launch and it's going to be free for everyone is a nuketown so they're gonna be you know remaking nuketown i don't know what you know time it's supposed to take place in you know how they have you know nuketown 2025 and stuff like that i don't know you know what the time frame is gonna be but they are bringing nuketown back so keep an eye out for that uh for when that does get released it's gonna be sometime you know after launch it's not gonna be there right away but i did want to include that 
in this video. Uh, Black Ops 4 does come out this Friday officially for everyone. Um, honestly, I am getting a little bit excited. I cannot wait. We have zombies, multiplayer, and blackout. Tons and tons of content to play um, and explore. So I'm super excited. I'm going to be making videos for you guys all of Friday. So keep an eye out on the channel. And guys, if you did enjoy this video in particular, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to stay up to date with everything related Black Ops 4. But guys, have a good rest of the day. Peace out, everyone.